Hello, Tim here. Welcome to my channel. If you've been in woodworking for a while, or if you're new to it, you're going to hear, or you have heard, or you said yourself, you can never have too many clamps. And that may be true, it may not be, it all depends on the kind of stuff you're going to do. So if you're making up small things, or if you're big, doing case goods, uh, gluing up a lot of turning stock, which I did for years, I would do a run of uh, balusters for porches or something like that, and maybe there's 50 of them I got to glue up. Uh, you you run out of clamps, you got to wait till one dries and so forth. So if you have a lot of clamps, you can keep working because the first set now you can take off and glue up another set, and that's where a lot of clamps are very handy. But they take they take up space. My role now is, is a little more smaller stuff, repairs, and what I do with uh, uh, wood turnings and, and things. I'm not doing as much production work. So I had too many clamps, but still, uh, when you're in a small shop, you're working in a small space, you need to have the maximum amount of organization so that you're not uh, tripping over things or putting things so far away you don't know where they got or they're too inconvenient to get to so i'm going to start with how i store my clamps and i'm going to show you something here that uh is one of the best purchases i i made uh on clamp storage in the corner here and if you saw my my uh video on small shop tour i kind of touched on this area here for my clamp storage but uh these here i have uh my eight foot clamps, my six, five foot, four foot, three foot, and these are all the, the traditional I-beam clamps, which I really like. You can really torque them down good. They have some limitations because they're heavy and so, and so forth. Uh, these are my strap clamps, which I used to use a lot when I glued up round stuff, like an octagonal uh, column or something like that, a table base that was a, uh, any round turnings and these are smaller versions of the same thing not as expensive and I'm not sure if these are still available or not I have uh, different lengths of straps and these I acquired recently these are a couple of big C clamps I haven't used them yet they just got them a little while ago that one's a 12 inch opening this is a 10 but I had to find a place to, to store them and that's where they sit. So this clamp rack came from Rockler and uh, they, I have a link to it below. And this, I found the, one of the most useful things I've, I've purchased. When I first got it, I had too many clamps, pipe clamps and everything that wouldn't fit on here. But after a while, I kind of uh, modified what I needed and, and got rid of some stuff and added some things. So what I'd like to do is to show you how I use this and, and uh, how it's worked for, for my purposes. So uh, one of my favorite clamps uh, is these Jorgensen hand screw clamps. This is the smallest one that they make and this is a, a five aught and I, they're, they're quite versatile and there's a lot of people that talk about them. They're not that common. I don't even know if you can get these small ones anymore. But if you're doing a, a repair of a carving uh, or an antique or something like that, and you're going to glue down a carving, uh, you can adjust the pressure just so so that you don't crush it too much. Um, and it's not too heavy to have to torque it down too much so it supports its own weight. So these are the smallest ones. Uh, next size up here's a a four aught. This is a three aught. I use these an awful lot for holding um, like uh, carvings and things when I'm working on them. This is the next size bigger. I had added a shelf to this to uh, uh, make it work for my purposes. That's the next size up and then I have um, this is a, a, a zero, an aught, I call it. And then the number one, which is probably your most common 
clamp that you find in a in a store so i'm going to show you a couple of specialty clamps that i keep all on here as well the specialty ones now this is a jorgensen uh number one clamp and this has got a special feature that i really like it's got these these uh round pegs that you can put in here and there was a glue up situation that i couldn't get a clamp on it any other way and let's say you're joining a, uh, a complex uh, angle or something that's round and you can come in from underneath, you drill a, a, a one inch hole, say it, you're joining a countertop or something like that. Now they have other ways of doing that too, but uh, in this particular case, um, putting these in here, I could, I could glue up a round thing and not damage the surface, the outside surface. These are specialty purpose clamps that you would use for a particular fixture that you need to hold for a routing something or, or uh, holding something down while you're doing production work. If you're only gonna do just uh, one off of something, then I would use a Jorgensen clamp like this here, hand screw clamp. This uh, particular clamp is, is very unusual, but very useful for uh, maybe picture frames and they, these, these little bar things come in different sizes and they make a little little print prick little hole in your workpiece so a couple of different sizes here and it holds it just to, long enough for the glue to set I don't use them very often, usually in furniture repair and some assembly. On top here I have uh, half inch pipe clamps, which are very useful for gluing up shelving or, or uh, just uh, something that's not too big, it's not unwieldy, so these, these will, this one will clear four, 14 inches. And in here, Oh, I should mention this here. This, this is kind of a, a cool little device, which comes in very useful for the Bessie clamps. These are kind of F-style clamps. And I use this if you're gonna have to, say you're having to repair something, and you need a little pressure right in the middle of a board or a tabletop or something like that. So you can clamp this to your clamp and then tighten it down so you can um, push uh, maybe a, a piece of veneer down in place and hold it. These are K-body clamps that are Bessie and they I just have two of them and they're parallel and they come in really useful for certain kinds of assembly if you're uh, uh, needing to hold something true certain kinds of case good and these ones I use a lot and that's just a longer version of the Bessie F style clamp Jorgensen clamps these I use quite often for quick uh, fixtures uh, this one I like I only have a couple of these these uh, single-handed clamps and I don't need very many. All, I, all you need a single-handed clamp for is, is to hold that until you can get another clamp on it. That's how I use them. Some people might you have a whole set of these and use them all the time. But I like this that you can reverse it and now it's a spreader clamp. So if you're going to take a chair apart, for example, or trying to work some glue into it, you can uh, turn it around and make it spread or you can make it into a regular clamp. They're, they wouldn't have the, the uh, pressure that bar clamps would have. I just have one of these, and a friend of mine calls these turkey clamps, because they sound like a turkey. Now I'll give this a quarter turn here. This space here, I customized this bar put in here so I could hang my C-clamps. So I have a series of those in there. You can see all the space is used up here. These are deep, deeper-throated C-clamps. 
bigger F style clamps and they're uh, these are quite large and they're heavy a disadvantage in if you're if you're gluing up something delicate but if you need that reach in there in the middle of something that you're gluing up uh, they're very useful for that these uh, pony uh, pipe clamps here are really useful for uh, reaching over say another clamp that, that's kind of in the way and you need to put pressure on something and you can turn this around which I like and make it a spreader clamp too and you can add another length of pipe on there and, and make it longer if you need if need be These are aluminum clamps and my the advantage of these is that they uh, don't leave a uh, they don't interact with your wet glue and a, say a piece of uh, white oak or red oak that the, the tannic acid would make a black spot on there. And the advantage of these is they're they're quite light so sometimes uh, and I've used these sometimes to, to mount to a bench and then I, I clamp a work light onto it too but because they're not very heavy you don't have to tighten them so much just to support their own weight these are my the only two pipe clamps I have left out of many that I used to have and that's just the old standby I don't use them that much anymore but uh, when I need extra clamps I got them this a turn here uh, these are the number one clamps I showed you that down here I have the I have twos and threes and I have a set of four uh, number four clamps which are big they're they're they they open up 12 inches and they're about this this big I won't get them out now but they look the same as all the other clamps just big and I worked for a company for a while that, that used all the, these spring clamps for all kinds of glue up. They're quite useful for, for quickly gluing up something like a uh, trim piece or something like that. You're going to glue on the surface. When you release them though, they're, it's like full pressure. You can't adjust the pressure, but they're quite useful. The smaller ones, the little tiny ones there. And the uh, last thing in this block of stuff here is this is another big C clamp which I I use on my um, my bench for holding things down and this is my bag of uh, C clamps so this is I have all sizes of these that a bunch of them that probably is a uh, the most useful for repairs and, and holding fixtures, holding parts. And all these things can be adapted. These, this one here is uh, I use for pocket screw holding. And uh, a deeper reach one like that. So that's it for my clamps. I hope you guys have enough clamps and feel free to ask questions and give it a thumbs up if you would and please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.